PUBG Mobile is celebrating its sixth birthday, which also coincides with the launch of version 3.1. In addition to new themed gameplay, let's see what other classic mode updates there are. First, regarding firearms, the P90 has been fully revamped with new upgrades. Now, it will be available from airdrop crates, making it the first airdrop SMG. Moreover, it no longer spawns on the ground and now uses unique 5.7mm ammo for rapid firing and super low recoil. Also, it now comes with a suppressor and a laser sight, as well as an exclusive sight that can switch between two different magnification levels. That's why it can no longer be equipped with other firearm attachments, but that's more than made up for by its tremendous power. The first ever airdrop SMG awaits you in the game. Aside from the P90 becoming an airdrop weapon, rifles and shotguns have been slightly adjusted. In the new version, the Ace 32 has reduced vertical and horizontal recoil, a faster firing animation, increased firing stability, and marginally increased firing speed. The M762 has marginally reduced recoil and a slightly faster firing animation. These two common rifles are stronger now. Will they now become your first choice? Regarding shotguns, we marginally decreased the firing interval of the DBS but also reduced its damage multiplier when hitting the head and body. Also, the M1014 now has more damage drop-off at longer distances, bringing it more in line with other shotguns. In terms of general improvements, the number of tokens you own is now displayed above the backpack button. You can now more conveniently view your token amounts and map out your road to victory. We've made all-around improvements to sound effects while parachuting. The sound effects are now more realistic and have better direction distinction. As part of this update, we have also added sound visualization effects for players respawning and jumping in from Nimbus Island. Now, players can see movement indicators of airborne enemies on the sound wheel. Come and try it out now! In this new version, when facing an airdrop or vehicle more than 10 meters away, and the crosshair is close to it, the system will automatically identify it, aiding you in conveniently marking distant airdrops and vehicles. If you don't know how to check the updated content in the game, you can check the Classic Mode minimap to see the main update content, helping you quickly learn the new gameplay and readying you for battle. At the same time, we fixed the issue where the AR Extended Quick Draw Mag gets automatically picked up and replaces an equipped Sniper Extended Quick Draw Mag on designated marksman rifles. Likewise, we also fixed an issue with the backpack where it didn't automatically pick up the best attachments when its capacity was full. We trust this will improve your gaming experience. In version 3.1, new items are available from supply shops. 9mm, 45 ACP, 12 gauge, and Molotov cocktails can now be found in supply shops. A scene interaction button has been added to customize buttons, and you're free to adjust its position, size, and transparency. Customize your interface to suit your gameplay needs. When you are knocked down and remain still, the character will curl up to protect itself. In this state, health won't drop as fast. On the contrary, if you move around, health will drop more rapidly. Players can now make more strategic choices when knocked down, wait and avoid interrupting teammates, or quickly try to get help to jump back in the fight. Make your choice in the game. In the new version, we've updated the motor glider controls, making it easier to handle. Motor gliders also spawn more often now in Erangel and Miramar. Try out the improved motor glider in the new version. In version 3.1, we have made improvements to firearm animations against walls and character animations against walls. When holding a firearm against a wall, the gun holding posture now shifts in relation to looking up and down, reducing the chance of the firearm clipping through the wall. Also, when characters move against a wall, the animation will now match the character's actual movement speed and direction, and reduces the chance of the firearm clipping through the wall. When characters move against a wall while crawling, they will now move along it more smoothly. Now, when you are swimming near the shore, you have the option to directly climb ashore. The new version's animation improvements should help provide you with an outstanding gameplay experience. That's it for the main classic mode changes in version 3.1. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments.